Could you just say the name of that company again? Moore and Tyler, Caves Road, St. Leonard's, Hastings, East Sussex. And they built the Elva and the Elvas? They, built the, they, did, they, did, they made this, this shell, of, of okay. the, of the aluminium shells. They made the originals and they made this reproduction? Reproduction, yeah. But they also made the GT40s? Um, they helped with the, I, I don't know how much they made, but they, mm -hmm. were, they were involved in the GT40s and, uh, and um, things to do with Aston Martin and Jaguar. And uh, they're, they're still in business? They're still in business. They've been in business since? Um, well, ever since I can remember. So we say, we say um, since, the war, since the last war. Oh, 46. yeah. Yeah. At least it's, it's, they most likely were right. business before, but I know of them since 1946. Okay. And who built uh, this, or who sponsored this? Um, this was done by the Bexhill Museum, uh -huh. um, with, with grants and, and you know, loans, etc. Because Bexhill is known as the birthplace of British racing in 1902, and we are looking after the heritage of it. Mm -hmm. And this was a car built in, also built in Bexhill. Mm -hmm. So it goes in with the heritage, which the museum are trying to um, cover. How much did it cost to now have I, this? I do not know no. what the cost mm -hmm. of it was. I know it took 600 hours to build the actual this oh. body. Oh, okay. And um, they value it at about 75,000, which is yeah. insurance. Yeah, okay. All right, well, thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna record what I see here. Okay, the, uh, the bump is made uh, from a uh, planished, maybe uh, flippered or uh, hammered section. There's actually a weld line right along where my finger is going. And this section right here was added to this piece right here. The rest of it does look wheeled. Uh, there's a similar uh, sectioning over on the uh, driver's side. Uh, you know, a British driver's side, but this seems to be the only hand hammered uh, part of the body. Uh, the gentleman told me the rest of it had been wheeled. Excuse me, sorry. And you can see the weld line again on the inside, right where my finger is, right along there. Thank you.